This video shows how I reinstalled the trim after the drywall was up and how I got it prepped for painting. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to start tacking the trim on. I'll go a little bit at a time. This is always the tricky part when you're going from plaster to drywall. We did half inch drywall in here because that's roughly the size of the plaster, but it never goes on perfect, at least in my experience. So uh, there'll of course be some modifications and we'll use the caulk liberally. We'll use caulk for sure. And so, uh, you know, this is gonna be it as far as hopefully getting some of this trim back up and uh, seeing how it goes. I'm gonna be using, I have just a, you know, I bought the compressor and the nail guns. It was a package for 200 bucks many, many, many years ago. And they've been great, okay? I've used them a ton, uh, putting up trim and all sorts of little projects for fun around the house have been great. Um, I'm gonna use a two inch when I'm, depending, but then because there's lath behind this, I will be going to the two and a half inch when, I'm, when I know that I'm going through there. I definitely started off with the hardest part. This door was not level to the wall, so I ended up needing to shim in part of it and trim some of the trim down to make it fit. I had to use a little bit of caulk, and since some of the pieces broke, I actually had to pull some extra that I had in my garage, but in the end, it actually came out really, really nice, and it's going to be really hard to tell unless you're looking at it from a very specific angle that um, the trim had to be cut down. The next part was just reinstalling the trim work, the edging trim around this. I had to make sure I cleaned everything up and vacuumed around it. I did have to sand down some of the tape on this to make sure it would fit, but again, I would caulk it and it came back nice. For this thinner one, I actually switched up to a brad nailer. Now, in this part, you can see here, you can see the gap between the drywall and the bottom of the baseboard. This top part perfectly matched where I wanted it to go. So once I had it cleaned out and ready to rock and roll, this saved me a ton of time on taping, and um, at the end, with a little bit of caulk, ended up going real smoothly. This really couldn't have been any better. I was so happy with how this turned out, because if it, reinstalling that bottom baseboard would have been a nightmare. Fortunately, the whole baseboard was like this all the way around. Now, part of my the iPad died a little bit through, the way through it, but... Um, you can see the process here is still the same. It took a while to kind of realign everything. I had to trim a couple things down and replace some of it, which is totally fine. But in the end, um, you can't tell. So this next part here, one of the problems was, is that the baseboard, I thought the baseboard would go a little higher and actually cover up all the nails, and they didn't. So I just had to come through with a little bit of patch and uh, cover those up let it dry overnight because I didn't want to mix anything up and it sanded it down. Here I'm installing the, uh, the last of the trim around the window before I start to sand, uh, before I go through and uh, just patch everything with a little bit of spackle. All the nails holes, this is just a little bit tedious, you have to get through it. And then um, once all that spackle dries up, it's basically uh, just time to come through and sand it all down. And really, that's basically all it was. And you can see here, I'm still trying to spackle everything and get everything through. I had to remove a little, a couple old remnants of a telephone line and things like that. But in the end, I thought it turned out really, really nice. I'm super happy with how it is. Of course, sanding this was a little bit of a nightmare after I cleaned everything out of the way. But it's going to give it a little bit of a newer sheen here, and it'll help to kind of reduce any of the bumps and swelling that are common when you're reinstalling trim that's been up there, in some cases for a lot longer than I've been alive. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you would, please hit the like and subscribe button.